Hello, welcome to the next topic, installing and configuring VMware ESXi. In this video, we are going to take a look at minimum requirement to install ESXi host and step-by-step -step installation and configuration guide for ESXi host. Minimum requirement to install our ESXi host. We required a host machine with at least two CPU cores and it should have 64-bit x86 processor which was released after September 2006 and minimum 4 GB of RAM required, one or more gigabyte or faster ethernet adapter required and boot device that has minimum of 1 GB space that is required to install a ESXi host and in BIOS NX XD bit should be enabled for the CPU in the BIOS. So this is the minimum requirement to install a ESXi host. To install a ESXi host, we need to download the ISO image from this link. And there are three types of installation method. One is interactive, another one is unattended, and third one is automated. In interactive, we provide manual answers to each question. Whereas in unattended, we create installation scripts and start the installation. Whereas in automated, we install ESXi host using the auto deploy feature. Now jump to the lab where we'll see how we can install and configure our ESXi host. To install a ESXi host, you need to download the ISO image and then you have to mount that ISO image to a physical server or to a virtual machine if you are using a lab environment. So since we are deploying this ESXi in a lab environment, I have created a virtual machine and mounted that ISO image and booted the system using that ISO image. Press enter to continue. Press F11 to accept the license agreement. Select the available storage device where you want to install this ESXi host. Select keyboard language and press enter. Define the root password. Press enter. Press enter. Press F11. Now installation has been started. ESXi installation has been completed. Now we need to reboot the system. Press enter.
ESXi host has been booted and now it is on a DC UI console that is direct console user interface. Now since installation has been completed we are moving to the configuration part. To configure the ESXi host you need to press F2. Enter credentials. Press enter. We are going to configure management network. Select management network and press enter. Select network adapters. Here you can select the network adapters which you want to use for the management network. So we have one network adapter and that we are going to use. Press escape. Now go to the VLAN. If you want to use any VLAN for management network, you can configure here. Go to IPv4 configuration, press enter. Now here we are going to use DSCP IP, but you can also use the static IP and for that you will have to select the option number 3 which is for set static IPv4 address and network configuration. Provide the IP details and press enter. Go to IPv6 configuration and press enter. Disable IPv6. Press space and press enter. Go to DNS configuration. Press enter. Now we are going to use DNS server. Select second option and press space. Click arrow down and provide the DNS server address. Arrow down and provide host name. Press enter. Go to custom DNS suffix and press enter. Provide domain name that you want to use for your environment. Press enter. So network configuration has been done. Now we will press escape and it will reboot the ESXi host since we have disabled the IPv6 configuration. Press escape. Press Y to reboot the host. Now host reboot is in progress and we are done with the installation and configuration part. Thanks for watching this video, moving to the next topic which is about introduction to vCenter server. Thank you.